Hi, Mom Stubby. This is Mira from Alive Pilates. This is another video on pregnancy class. In this class, we're going to tap into how we're going to stay strong and balanced throughout our pregnancy. So, let's get going. We're going to start with standing position. In fact, half of this class will be done standing, okay? So I want you to have your feet slightly wider than your hips and slightly external rotation so your feet are facing sort of diagonal position. Okay, find a position that is comfortable for you. Okay, we're going to start with some squats. So we're going to inhale. As you go down, now take care that the knees is going the same direction or the thighs going the same direction as your feet. Now exhale, lift that pelvic floor, take it up. And again, inhale. And an exhale. And an inhale, out. And an exhale, we lift. And an inhale, take care that you don't lean your body too far forward here. And up. So try to stay as upright as possible and exhale. Okay, and make sure that your knee doesn't roll inward. Stay right over your feet and exhale. Two more times and inhale and exhale. One more, we're gonna stay down here, hold. We're gonna lift one heel up and down and the other one up and down. And we're gonna lift and down and lift and down, let's go, in breath, and then exhale, and then in breath, exhale, two more sets, and in breath, and then exhale, last set, in breath, and then exhale, hold it in breath, and exhale, come down, let's go down again, inhale, now here, let's take both heels up, and we exhale, and in breath, and in breath, and in breath, three more, two more, last one, and an exhale coming up, okay, let's go down, we're going to do some little pulses here, we're going to get that hip strong, that pelvic floor muscle a little stronger, and get your body connected, shall we go, inhale, now here, we're going to bring the pelvis up a little bit, so we're going to go like this, Inhale, exhale, inhale, little pulse, up, inhale, exhale, inhale, you can feel the burn, and two more sets, inhale, last set, inhale, and an exhale, finally we come, uh, let's shake it out a little bit. Well done, like this. Okay, let's move on. We're gonna take yourself down again here. Now I'm gonna rotate to my right. Swing my arm down, rotate my other leg, and take my arm up here. Now I want to make sure that you don't stick your booty out. I want you to bring that pelvis as vertical as possible. And then hold this position, and then rotate to the front. And then bring it up. And I rotate to the back. Hold that balance. And rotate. And bring it up. And rotate. And bring it up. Last set, rotate. And bring it up. Last one, rotate. And I'm bringing up with stay. Extend the back heel down. And then bring yourself into a diagonal position here. And then come up right again. And again, reach it up, shoot the legs down, reach the arms away, and then coming up right. And again, shoot it away, lengthen that spine, and then coming down. One more time, reach it out. Now hold this position. You're gonna step that back leg to the front and find your balance, like so. Up. And then shoot the leg back again to the position. And then balance. And then lift that pelvic floor muscle up, ladies. And then balance up. And then shoot it back. Last one, balance. And shoot it back. Good job. Now extend the front leg. Stretch it out. And you can even take your body lower to get a nice hamstring stretch. Stay here. In breath. Exhale. 
and then coming up, coming down into that vertical lunge position, and then open the arms back to the front, other side. Swing the arm, bring it up here. All right, now again, tuck that pelvis under. All right, you don't want to stick your booty out. You want to tuck the bum under a little bit more. You can feel that stretch in front of your hip or even the quads. Okay, ready? And we're going to rotate. And then bring it back. And then rotate. And then bring it up. Two more sets. Rotate. And bring it up. And rotate. And bring it up. Last set. Rotate. And bring it up. Last one, rotate. And then bring it up. Stretch the back heel down. Ooh, can feel that nice calf stretch? And coming up to vertical. And again, reach. And then upper right. And reach. And one more. And reach. Now here, we're going to step that back leg forward. Ha, balance, hold. And shoot it back, diagonal lunge. And forward. And shoot it back, diagonal lunge. And two more forward. And back. And last one, forward. And back, hold. We're going to stretch the front leg. That's it. And you can even lower that chest, the trunk down. Ooh, losing my balance here. Stay in breath. Exhale. And then coming into that vertical lunge. And then spin your body around to me. And coming up. Good job. Feeling that burn in your legs. Now take your arms out to the side. Let's go into some side flexion. I'm going to take myself to my right. And over. And come up. And to the left. And come up. And to the right. And come up. And to the left. And last set. And to the right. Last one. And release. Bring your feet together. Shake it out. Good job. Okay, now I'm going to face diagonal. You don't have to, just for the sake of the camera. Now, have your feet slightly wider than your hips if you have a bigger belly, if you're more progressed in your pregnancy. Otherwise, just keep, try to keep them as hip width apart, okay? Now, I'm going to do a little half squat. So, weight on the heels, bring the knee forward and bring the pelvis back, and then place your hands on your thigh here. Okay, now from here, you're going to do some flexion extension in the spine. So, kind of like a catch stretch. So, we round the spine. And an inhale, weight on the heels. Extend back. And exhale, round, push your hand into your thigh as you draw the abdominal, drawing the baby into your spine. And an inhale, pelvis lengthens back and then the upper back arch at the same time too. And exhale. And an inhale. Try to keep that spine more violated. Try to find the, the small movement in the spine. I know it can be a little bit sticky, especially that weight gain in the front of your belly, but just try to find it. One more, exhale. And an in breath. And stand an extension. Hug the baby into your spine here. Open your arms out like airplane. Let's turn your thumbs up. And I want you to squeeze that shoulder blade in. Pull the arms up for eight. Weight on the heels. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hands back. Round the back. And then coming up and then just go down again send the pelvis back knees forward weight on the heels and exhale one cat stretch and then coming up an extension all right now take your arms up 
you know what, let's take your ribs in so you don't go so much into the next center. So draw the upper abdominal in, arms to the aeroplane position. Now we're gonna rotate from your spine. We're gonna twist to one side and center. Keep the back active and exhale, center. And an in breath and exhale. And in breath and exhale. Keep that pelvis absolutely stable if you can here, ladies. And again, one more each side. Inhale, exhale. Last one, exhale. Hands on your thigh, round the spine, roll yourself up to standing. Shake the legs away. Good job. All right, now we're gonna take yourself or ourselves to the ground. So, onto quadruped position, an all four position. Okay, here we go. Now I want you to have your knee wider than your pelvis. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my top. Okay, now shoulder and your hands aligned, knees wider and feet kind of hip width apart here. So we're going to just inhale, sit back, keep the back straight or back long, exhale, shoulder over your hand, inhale and exhale, in breath, back, exhale, pelvic floor lifting and an inhale, back, exhale, drawing that baby into your spine and just make sure ladies that you don't round your spine keep the upper back muscle engage exhale and two more and exhale last one and exhale okay adjust the legs so knee underneath the hips all right, hip width apart, shoulder over your hand again. Now we're going to make a little or draw a circle over your hands. So we're gonna go forward, shoulder over your hands, and I'm gonna go to the left, back, right, center. And so just create a circular movement around that wrist, okay? Just breathing, shoulders are wide. Your baby's drawing or hugged it into your spine. I don't want that saggy spine like so, yeah? Your lat muscles are working, which is the muscle on the side, your wing muscle. Okay, one more time. And back to center, let's go to the other direction. So forward to the right, back and left, around. Just keep breathing in here, inhale. And just breathe in and exhale. And then in and exhale don't go too wild that you can't control yourself one more and come back in stay okay let's go and we're gonna draw that baby hug into your back here now right arm forward left leg extended try not to alter the position of the spine so when you extend keep stability or maintain stability in the pelvis and your trunk and then take the arm and the leg back. And now we're gonna lift the arm and the leg and we lower. And exhale. And lower. And exhale. And lower. And lift the baby up. Don't let the baby sag in the abdominal wall. And two more. And last one. Bring them down, place them back in. Other side, extend the left arm, right leg. Again, watch it, you don't know, sway the pelvis as you extend the leg back. Okay, and we lift, and we lower, and lift, and lower, and lift, and lower, and lift, lower, and thank you. Two more, lift, Stable at the trunk, one, and bring it in. Okay, ladies, some push-ups. All right, so it's a modified push-up. We're not gonna do the normal general push-up. I want you to have your tuck, your toes tucked under. 
Okay, now shoulder over your hands. It's very crucial that you draw that baby up and hug it into your spine. You don't have to go all the way down here, okay? Now, I want you to send the elbows back to your hips and your shoulder will go forward and lean your body down and then exhale, wrap the belly in and push away. Again, you may just even go this far down and that's okay. All right, what I'm looking for is for you to be able to maintain that stability in your spine as you do this modified push-up. So we inhale and an exhale. You know, inhale and an exhale. Perhaps you know already after you give birth, you have to be so strong to be able to carry your baby and your groceries at the same time. You know, it's very demanding to be a mom. And again, two more, so let's stay strong. And the last one. And press away. Well done. Now open your knees a little bit wider. Okay, lower, release your feet. And I want you to bring that pelvis, or sit the pelvis back to your heels, and then stretch your arms away. Okay, ladies. All that hard work is almost coming to an end. It's just a nice, stretchy, feel good movement after this. Okay, so just breathing in here and exhale. Allow the pelvis to settle down on the heels. Now, what I want you to do now is just walk your hands towards the left side of the mat. So you will find the right side of your body is stretching. So I want you to activate or reach out to your arm if you try to sit the right sitting bone down to your heels here. So in breath, just enjoy that stretch. Exhale, one more. And let's walk your hand over to the other side, which is my right. And I'm stretching the left side of my body, of my spine. Inhale. And exhale, make a point of consistently reaching the arm away from your shoulder and the left, the bottom down to your heel. So you feel that stretch on the waistline in the armpit, perhaps the rib cage, all right? Perhaps the hips, I don't know, whichever feels tight for you. Just enjoy that. And one more. And exhale. Okay, bringing the hands in front of you and slowly help yourself up to a seated position. Okay, ladies, now let's take your feet forward, okay? So I'm gonna face diagonally so you can see what's going on. So perfectly mat with the part, okay, or even wider, depending how progressed you are in your pregnancy. Okay, and have your hands back. Okay, now what's gonna happen here? I wanted you just Drop the legs down to one side and then lift that pelvis up and keep that shoulders open. Try not to slouch, okay? And then bring it back. And over to the other side as you in breath. And then exhale. So what I want you to try is to give me some proud chest position and long back. And then in and then exhale. And then in. Let's mobilize that hip and exhale. And in, and exhale. And again, twist. Uh -huh. And twist. It's my favorite stretch when I was pregnant with my first child. And then again, tip. And then center, one more each side. And then tip, and then center. I said first child, I only have one child, so one child. And then. Come back, last one, and then center. Now, let's bring your legs, feet together into a diamond position here. Okay, now sitting onto a diamond or butterfly leg position, sitting nice and tall. Let's take your arms out to the side for a well-deserved side stretch. So, I'm going over to my left, which is my right. And inhaling, exhale, and over to the right. And exhale. I like you to stay nice and tall and long with the spine as you go into the side bend. In breath. And exhale. And again, last one. 
Let it go. Now stretch one leg out. So I've got my left leg here. I'm gonna take the right leg over my left. Now you can have you can do two ways. If you if your belly allows you to, you can have the knee pointing up. And if you're a lot more progressing in pregnancy, you may have to take it down this way. Either way is fine by me. All right, I'm gonna take my knee up here. Now I'm gonna lengthen the spine. I'm gonna use the traction of the arm, the hand at the back of me to help myself up to grow tall. And then I'm going to press away to get myself into a rotation in my spine. Such a good stretch here, ladies. Inhale, nice and tall. Do not slouch. Exhale, and try to get a lot deeper rotation in that body. One more time, inhale. Exhale, let's take it further. And release, okay. Now stretch that leg out. Either leg, bring it up. Knee pointing up or out to the side, okay? Now, one hand behind you, lifting that spine, push, press against the thigh as you will help yourself to come up or get, uh, help yourself to come up to be taller. Oh, tongue twister, sorry, lifting up. And exhale, we twist. And again, inhale, elongate. Exhale, let's go further, further, further and release. All right, ladies, legs feet together. You can just flap the thigh away. That's all we have for today's workout. I hope you enjoy that. Encourage you to always stay strong, fit and healthy during your pregnancy. If you like to know more about your pelvic floor or your pelvic bowl, I've created a tutorial, which is part of a deep dive into Pilates tutorial series for beginners. So I invite you to have a look in that playlist and uh, I hope that helps you to understand the anatomy of the pelvic floor and the pelvic bowl. I hope to see you in another class and have a good day.